What's good, YouTube? Well, I got a quick unboxing video for y'all today. Um, honestly, I know what one of the pops are, I think, but I'm really not sure about the rest of them. Uh, I've, I, I pre-ordered quite a few pops as of recently, just because a lot of stuff that I actually collect is starting to come out. Um, as they slowly trickle in, I'll probably make videos about them. I don't know how much, uh, how much pop collecting I'm really going to be doing or how much collecting in general I'll be doing right now. <clears throat> Just because of this whole Corona scare. Um, right now in my city, we're not under quarantine, curfew or anything like that. That doesn't mean that in the coming days, weeks, month, whatever we might, might be, might not, I, Everything's up in the air right now. But needless to say, uh, I think it's one of those times where you kind of got to fall back and reassess where your money's kind of going. You know, whereas you might have had a ample amount of money to kind of play with and, you know, you weren't as serious about saving money back. Well, I think now it's starting to tighten up a little bit and you might want to reconsider. And I think that's what it, where I'm kind of at with it right now. You know, it's one of those, eh, do I really want to waste 30 40 $50 on pops or do I want to kind of stash that away just in case we got to buy extra groceries because they only let you go to the store once a week or something like that. You know what I mean? Eh, we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it kind of goes. Like I said, I got three boxes for you guys today. Um, just kind of open them up at random, see what we get. Uh, like I said, I know what one of them is I don't remember which box it's in. Uh, maybe by the label I can kind of tell. Uh, yeah, this one be the one that, if any of them would be one that I know what it is, this will probably be it. And this was kind of impulse buy because I thought the market was going to be different than what it was. Uh, sweet. At least it came in a yeah, there you go. Came in a sorter, so that's always a good sign. They actually put some bubble bags in there, too. So the likelihood that this pop will be damaged is slim. And another Slime Pit He-Man from ECC. This was a GameStop exclusive. Like I said, I've showed it during my... Uh, Emerald City Comic Con uh, exclusive unboxings or pickups video uh, last week or the week before, whichever one that was. Uh, we'll save that one. Let's do Shumi next. Ordered a lot of stuff through Shumi. If you guys have ever ordered from Shumi, you know that the wait time is, uh, yeah. I'll just say that. Yeah, the wait time for something is extremely long. But the good thing is, you know that you're going to get a pop that's in good shape. So you don't have to worry about damaged pops. Um, they usually, if I'm not mistaken, I think they always send them in pop protectors as long as they're not uh, odd shaped pops. Like I think they're 10 inch or they're double packs and stuff like that. No, I don't think they ship those in uh, pop protectors. But single pops they do. Um, I learned my lesson last time I ordered from Shumi to not order anything. How do I say this? Uh, if you're going to pre-order pops, pre-order individual pops or sets. Don't order like four different pre-orders on one order. Because what the way that they work, <clears throat> say I ordered the Masters of the Universe set that's about to come out. And then I also ordered... I don't know, like the new Dragon Ball Z pop set or the new My Hero set. They'll wait until that whole shipment comes together before they actually send you something. So, whereas the Master of the Universe might not come out until May, if My Hero comes out before that, your order's sitting there in limbo. So, it's better just to kind of break them up if you're ordering sets or if you're ordering individual pops. And this was Notorious Big. And this one is in the Fedora. <laughs> the crazy thing is I pre-ordered this because I didn't know if it was going to hit stores. Rock Pops in my area are kind of hit or miss. Sometimes 
you might see like waves of them like they'll just be everywhere other times it's like yeah like I think the I think it was the Kiss set they released it seemed like the stores got two sets well if everybody's going for Gene Simmons then you ended up with three pops that didn't have one of the pops with it so couldn't really get the set um for this biggie set it wasn't as bad for the last one it was random like i would go into stores nobody would ever have them i think i ended up picking them up at uh books a million or at least one of them at books a million but it was it was not something that was consistent where you could just walk into a hot topic and they were just guaranteed to have it this one hot topic didn't get it but my local box lunch had it on shelves a month and a half two months ago Let's get a close-up of it since I haven't already showed it. And I'm sorry, the glare is horrible today because it's in a pop protector. I think it's probably a good portion of the reason. But it's a really cool pop. Um, I actually have all three of these. And I have uh, the Hot Topic exclusive where he has the champagne glass from the Big Papa video. So, And they put their little shimmy card on top. So... That's cool, Pop. Definitely had to have Biggie for the collection. And this next one's an exclusive. If I think I know what it is. Yeah, it is. I can tell by the label. Like I said, I got a lot of different uh, pre-orders. And they're just going to randomly start coming in. I've actually been saving a couple of these. I think uh, the GameStop one may have been... No, this might have been the last one. I was waiting on this to come in before I made the video. So I didn't want to do it on two common pops. You know, what fun is me unboxing two common pops that you guys can walk in probably anywhere and get right now. This actually did come in a pop protector. And it's awesome. Definitely. And it's all for one the fugitive uh toys exclusive yeah let's see if i can get it where it's not super glary once again pop protector so we get all the shine from the ambiance lighting you got to that big arm little arm it looks all messed up there goes a set in the back Not a bad looking pop protector. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things that, like, I hear people talk about, oh, well, these pop protectors are a lot better. And truth be told, like, Shumi's pop protectors, they feel really, really solid. Um, they're a little bit more pricey as compared to, like, the ones that I get off of Amazon. I'm not banging around these pops. Like, they go up on a shelf. It just keeps the dust off of them, as far as I'm concerned. And if something happens where, you know, I would drop one. I actually, make a short story, this shelf right here was leaning a little bit because the wood that I made it out of wasn't true. And I had some uh, Dragon Ball Z pops slide off. Well, when they hit the floor, some of the uh, pop protectors broke, cracked, shattered. I mean... Uh, it didn't really damage the pops. I think I might have had one that had a dinged corner. But for the most part, it just broke the pop protector. Put them in a new pop protector and they're, they're back good as new. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> Enough about that. So, pretty cool pop. I was I was happy to get this one. Um, I was happy to get all of them. Because, you man, know, that's what I do. Collect Funko Pops and comic books. You know, anytime that you can get something that's a little bit more exclusive or you can't find in a store, you know, it's a it's a small victory. We need to take all the small victories that we can get nowadays, right? But yeah, let me know uh, how um, this quarantine or the coronavirus is affecting your collecting. Are you are you kind of falling back a little bit and not collecting as much, watching how you spend or? Is it just business as usual for you? Because I know it's affecting a lot of people's jobs. Some people are getting laid off or certain businesses are closing in different areas. 
So let me know what you guys think. And please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to keep making content throughout this whole ordeal. As um, far as that's concerned, I don't think there will be any change. Like I said, I have enough stuff on pre-order. As long as they keep shipping and they don't shut down mail, I should still be making content and still be having stuff. Um, my particular job is going to more than likely give me access to move around pretty freely. That doesn't mean that the stores will be open. So, if there is something that releases in store, eh, there's no guarantee I'm going to be able to pick it up. But, the good thing is I won't be restricted to stay in house and be quarantined 24-7. Just because the line of work that I'm in, they need us. So, we're frontline workers. Hopefully, I can stay healthy and I won't have any kind of drawback there. But yeah, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit like. Um, everybody stay safe out there. You know what I mean? Cleanliness is next to godliness. You know, let's, uh, let's think about how we're affecting everybody else and try to keep ourselves safe in the same process. Well, peace.